Hi, this is Yosarian from BoyMeetsPhone.com. What I have here today is the MyTouch by LG. This is the newest member of the MyTouch line of devices from T-Mobile. This is the second one made by LG, the other one being the MyTouch Q. Taking a quick tour of the hardware, up front we have a 3.8 inch Ultra AMOLED display. This is LG's take on the AMOLED panel. I'm going to get into the performance of the panel later. Below the display, we have three capacitive buttons for menu, home, and back. There is no dedicated Genius button on the device, and we'll get into that a little bit later too. Right here is the notch for the microphone. Taking a look up top, we have the earpiece grill, a VGA quality front facing camera, and proximity sensor is over here. There is no ambient light sensor, so unfortunately if you need to change the brightness of the device, you're going to have to manually change the brightness on the display. Taking a look on the left side, we have the volume rocker. Up top, we have the power button, a covered port for the micro USB, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a dedicated noise cancellation mic. On the back of the MyTouch is a 5 megapixel autofocus camera. And right below here on the bottom we have the speaker grill. We take the back cover off. The back cover does take some prying to get off. You can see the phone's 15 40 milliamp hour battery, the SIM card, and the micro SD card slot. Overall, I really like the design of the MyTouch. It is made almost entirely of plastic, so it's a rather light device, but feels really solid. Tell the back cover does take some getting used to to put on. But overall, I do like the design of the MyTouch. LG's Ultra AMOLED panel is supposed to allow for better viewing in direct sunlight and less power consumption. I have to say that when viewing in direct sunlight, I had no issues seeing anything on the display, which I liked a lot, even with polarized sunglasses on. My one issue I did find with the display is when viewing off angle, so if you shift the screen even slightly, the colors tend to wash out. However, overall I was quite pleased with the colors in the performance of this display. The phone is running Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread over a custom version of LG's UI. This is a MyTouch version of the UI, so you notice like the HTC MyTouch devices, you have the bubble icons. It also, turn, when you turn it on, you get tips on how to use the device, which is rather nice. A good thing for people who are new to using smartphones to have. It is fairly easy to set up. You can see all the different tutorials and tips and helpful hints that the phone offers you. And this is accessible at any time if you need it. You start off on the, with this phone with five home panels. Right now I have seven because I expanded it. But you start off with five and if you want to get, remove one just delete it. Add one as simple as that. Or when you're in the customization menu, you can simply drag a widget up there, drag a shortcut or anything up there, and it'll automatically make that home panel appear. I like the customization menu because you can go around and figure out where you have space and decide from there where you want to put a widget or a shortcut or a folder. Something else I like about the customization of this phone, say I have this big widget up, I want to put the smaller version of the calendar up. If I let go, I can resize it and it'll switch to the small one. It's not open resizable like on Sense, not, sorry, not Sense, um, TouchWiz or the app Motorola application platform but it is nice to not have to go and delete the widget and then pull up the widget tray again and then just that which size you actually wanted just be able to 
say, well, now I want the small one, or now I want the big one, and just go like that, is a nice addition. It makes it a lot easier to use. You can also, in this view, move around the screens. Oh, sorry. Yep. There we go. You can move around panels and select which one you want to be the default home. Taking a look at the app drawer, you can see that it has more of that dark colored theme, taking advantage of the fact it has a ultra AMOLED panel and that when displaying darks it saves more energy. You can also see that it's in a categories view with your recent apps, your both recently used apps, downloads, and all the applications that come on board the My Touch. If you want to look at a specific section, just simply tap it to open it. If you want to open everything up, well, all the sections up, you can expand that way. You get the full array of apps that you have on board. And if you want to close everything, pinch in to collapse it. You also have the option of the search bar on top, so you can type in the name of the specific app you're looking for. If you are not that fond of the categories view, you can switch it to a page view. This gives you a page view of all of the apps that you have on board. You also have the option of a list, which is a gives you an alphabetical list of every app that you have. And again, it, if you pinch in, it collapses, and pinch out, it'll expand everything. Or you can just simply select a specific area to open everything. I'm going to switch back to the categories view to show you something else. If I hit manage applications, you can do this in any view, I just tend to like seeing it in the categories view, but you can delete any of the downloaded applications straight from the app drawer, which is nice to have, nice ability to, so you don't have to go through everything and try to delete it that way. Also, the bottom launcher here is customizable. So I say I want Skype there instead of browser. If I grab and hold Skype and drop it down, now Skype's there instead of the browser. As far as input methods go on the My Touch, you have the option of the standard Android gingerbread keyboard, which works in both portrait and landscape. You also have swipe. For those who don't know, swipe allows you to simply trace out the words you want to say by dragging your fingers across the letters. So, for example, if I want to say quick, I find that no matter which keyboard you want to use in either direction you want to use it, because this does work in landscape too, that the screen offers more than enough real estate to comfortably type. The My Touch also supports some gesture controls. One of the cooler ones is the ability to tap the side of the device to either move the cursor or flip through the photo album. So I can either go like this to go through the photo album or I can simply tap the sides of the device. Like I said, this works with both the photo gallery and the cursor. Like I said earlier, there is no physical genius button on the My Touch by LG. However, there is one on, out of the box on screen there. And there is also one in the notification pull down menu. Another cool thing to note if you press and hold the menu button, it will launch a search bar. And you can do this in any application that you can search through, so that includes YouTube and Gmail. As far as the Genius button goes, the Genius button is a custom made voice command service by Nuance communication for the T-Mobile MyTouch line of devices. From there you can do things like navigate to a destination, call a person, send a message, or do a web search. So I'm going to show you an example. Search phones. It is now going to perform a web search for phones.
Now there is also a car mode. If you go into the select car mode. What this do what this does is as soon as you say it will launch the I'm not saying it so I can give you an example, so I'll say genius button. Navigate to Missouri. And that is how the Genius button works. The My Touch by LG uses one of Qualcomm Snapdragon system on chips. This is the MSM8255 chipset. So that consists of a 1 GHz Scorpion CPU a, and a Adreno 205 GPU. There is also 512 megabytes of RAM on this device. As far as internal storage goes, you have 0 0.98 gigabytes for that's user user accessible. Sorry. There is also a 2 gig micro SD card shipped with the phone. Performance on this phone, especially when compared to the MyTouch Q by LG, this is noticeably smoother and snappier. You can see, you have this nice animation, nice animations, nice smooth transitions. Found that all together, apps open quicker and this was a really enjoyable experience using the device. You're going to get lag when you have a lot of apps open, but that will happen with any phone. As far as battery life goes, thanks to the Ultra AMOLED display on the MyTouch, I was able to get, well partly thanks to that, I was able to get about 17 hours of battery life on average. So for a heavy user, you might still want to carry the charger, but for a moderate user, this should be able to get you through your day. As far as reception goes on the MyTouch by LG, I haven't had any issues. I didn't miss any calls, didn't have any dropped calls, didn't have any issues sending out messages or receiving messages. It is running on T-Mobile's HSPA Plus 4G network. This is running off of the 42 megabits per second side of the network. On average, I've been able to get about 4 megabits per second down in my area, and I live in a mixed 3G, 4G, 2G area. I did take a trip out of town to see if I can get a better test result. My highest test result I was able to get was 8.10 megabits per second down which is a good amount of data down. Sound quality wise, I enjoyed using the My Touches. The earpiece sounds very clear. I haven't, ha haven't had any issues hearing anybody. No one's had any issues hearing me. The speakerphone is also quite loud. Taking a look at the web browser on the My Touch, we have a standard Android WebKit web browser with a few tweaks by LG does support pinch to zoom and it does it rather smoothly there's hiccups every once in a while one of the core tweaks when you rotate the screen it kind of swings around the text will also reformat though it's not the quickest so they actually did it quite quickly but every once in a while it will take a while to reformat the text to fit the area that you have showing. Take a look at the windows. You have a cover flow like view. You can open another window. So you can switch between windows like that. Head into the bookmarks actually. because I want to show that the phone does support flash so we're going to head to the pomegranate phone website and wait for that to load alright now that the pomegranate phone website has loaded 
I'm going to play the flash video. So that's a look at the web browser on the MyTouch. Taking a look at the camera interface on the MyTouch, you'll see that it uses the LG camera interface. So you have the preview of your last image, a on-screen shutter button, and a switch to change from photo to video. The MyTouch does have a 5 megapixel autofocus camera on the back. And if you look at the menu, you have swap and change to the front facing camera. Zoom, brightness, your scene selection mode. So you have auto, portrait, landscape, sports, night, and sunset. And further settings. So you can do things like change the Focus it has face tracking, change the image size, the ISO, white balance, the color effects, shooting modes. Shooting modes we have panoramic and a continuous shot. Both panoramic and continuous shot will bump you down to VGA quality images. You can also do things like turn off your geolocation. To focus on a subject, you have to tap and hold. And you'll get that beep to confirm that it's out of focus, and it'll be green if it's on focus. And see if I can get it to do red. And I can be able to get it to do red. There you go. Red if it's off focus. Overall, I found that the images came out decent on the My Touch. I did have a few issues when video chatting with the front facing camera. Google Talk is currently not supported as a video chat client. And when using Skype or any other video chat app, I found that the video was facing the wrong direction. So that hopefully there will be a fix coming to that. As far as video capture goes, the MyTouch can capture 720p high def video. It does not support tap to focus, but it does have continuous autofocus. Overall, I found that the videos came out decently. And that autofocus was a little slow, but it works, which is a good thing. The goal of the MyTouch line of devices has always been to make the leap from feature phone to smartphone easier on a consumer. I feel as LG did a good job at balancing out easy to use while still offering snappy performance. For the full review of the MyTouch by LG, head over to the website boymeetsphone.com and make sure to like me on Facebook. This is Yasarin from boymeetsphone.com. Thanks for watching.